How you doing? Whoa, that was a bit of enthusiasm for me. <laughs> My name is Thunder, welcoming you to part 5 of Auto Marlista, where now we're going to be using this pretty hefty Skyline GTR R34, which has uh, dealing in it over 600 horsepower. And that's not even its final stage, it's, there's still a fifth engine stage that we still have yet to unlock. So anyways, let's get right into the racing action, and we're, we're going to be going to do th this lonely series in level 5, the Urban Championship. So so we're going to be in some urban territories. So let's, uh, I'm going to actually go with Slick because this is all tarmac really anyways. And, uh, yep, that's all we're really going to do. If we end up coming to one of the rain tracks, we obviously can't switch tires. But anyways, Slick should be fine for now, and away we go. West Tokyo. Of course, we got our six cars. Just, wow, this, this thing just moves. Then again, it is 605 horsepower. And you also probably are noticing now that even the uh, AI cars are starting to have some aero parts, some cosmetic stuff putting on so that uh, they're, uh, that's being put on to so their cars. So... Even they're starting to look a little bit more peppier. Wow, those last two cars up there really took off. Also notice that this is actually a three-lap race, so we're getting to some three-lappers now. So they may have taken off then, but of course, as you can see, we're already catching up, and there'll still be two more laps. So... Oh, oh dear. Okay, no biggie. No big deal. And past the Viper. And yep, you are not seeing things. That is indeed a Ford GT concept, mind you, at the front that I just ran into because he just suddenly stopped there for some reason. And there we go. Our, our 600 plus horsepower Skyline is now in the lead. Great. It's all brilliant. Oh, okay, we're good. We're okay. Everything's fine. Nothing's nothing here to worry about. Move along. No, you pretend as if nothing just happened. Nope, 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 nope. <clears throat> all right. Yeah, look at this. This is this is like on its uh the tran. I didn't really tune anything transmission. I think I just put like the balanced one on, and that's. And it just did nearly 200 miles an hour there, so that's pretty. That's pretty impressive. Oops. So we're definitely don't. We're definitely not going to have to change it for this car, to say the least. All right. Oh, okay. Maybe that was too late on the brakes, but eh, try not to worry too much. Okay, easy, and power down. One more lap to go. Okay, nope, we're all, we're all right, we're okay. Get around there, all right, good, good, good. And just like that. Admittedly, that GT is not falling as far back as I thought it was going to be knowing the air, but it is still a little bit back there, so it's not really much of a concern right now. Okay, easy around the corners there. Okay, we're all right. We're all okay. Oh boy, yes. <laughs> Sorry, I just sometimes get panicked if something suddenly goes a bit twitchy or anything like that, but all, everything is okay, so. Oh, jeez. Oh boy. And there we go. All right, so we're still undefeated so far in this in this playthrough. We we haven't lost a race, and we haven't had to redo a race for any reason. So this is uh just I'm just doing great in this. But anyways, next up we have East Tokyo. Fine. So let's do East Tokyo. Fine. <laughs> Sorry. All right. And bam, bam. I also like how, like in the 
first couple of gears, there you see like a bit of a, a ghosting effect with the dials. And even in now shifting there too. It's kind of cool. I like that for some reason. Don't know why. It's just kind of a thing I like, I guess. Can't really explain it, to be honest. Of course, here we got the uh, area with the somewhat big straightaway. Not as long as West Tokyo, I think, but, you know, still, still, you know, it's there. Just easily past that uh, NSX. Basically, my goal this time around for this uh, LP, aside from uh, ex instead of a uh, Tokyo Ocean Racer 2, is I wanted to kind, for the most part, I wanted to focus on other vehicles that I didn't use in a uh, TXR2. I mean, I did use the Viper in TXR2, and I did just use it in Part 3 of Automobilista, but here, but um, you know, I just, I, th I. At least, I, I i mean, all the other parts have all been different vehicles. You know, 300 ZX in Part 1, uh, Lancer in Part 2, and uh, Sports 800 in Part 4, and this Skyline in Part 5. So, yeah. Also, just... Wait, did I seriously do a 54-second lap in the first go? Oh, my God. Buddy, what are you doing? And then he just does that. Easy there. It did not mean to shift down crap. Okay, keep it going, keep it going. One more to go. Look at that, 51.7. Ah, crap. No worries. Jeez, that, I didn't expect that GT to suddenly be coming in like that, but okay. To say the least, it, it would surprise me, but... Considering that we're st we're winning, it's no biggie. And now I think he's too far, so that it's not really gonna matter. If no. Oh, ooh, and I still managed to keep just keep it off the wall there. Okay, good. And one more corner coming up. And come on, can we do sub fifty second? Sub fifty second. Uh, not gonna do sub 50 second. I did 50 and a half. Alright, good enough. Still won though, so that's always a good thing to be happy about. <laughs> always a thing to be happy about. Uh, ooh, anyways. So there's that one down. And next up, we will be going to. Osaka Highway. Okay, this is a bit of a surprise. I was expecting East Tokyo Fine Reverse or East Tokyo Rain. So I don't think they may actually save that one for last now that I'm thinking about it. So um that GT's pretty pet is pretty quick, so I'm gonna extend the gears. So just just it's just because it's so quick. But uh and because this is a like pure speed track, so let's see how we do now. Okay. Just, I'm not really worried about um them leaving me like I usually because as you always know by this point if you've been watching from the beginning I always catch up okay let's get through there it just sucks how these cars kind of like slide around even the four-wheel drive car like this skyline here it's like really there we go 206 not the Pojo 206 206 miles an hour I just stop making these really stupid references sometimes. They're just awful. Like, ugh. They're just usually awful. Just this thing. 209. Damn. Had a bit of a hiccup there, but now we're in front. That GT won't be easy to shake off, though. Especially not on this track, of all places. Jeez, look at that thing go. Okay, I managed to do that better than him, though, but not that it's really mattering right now. Jeez. This is going to be a pretty cool. This may be a pretty close race throughout much of this. 213. No! And someone managed to fully stop him there, so that's kind of a relief. Not that it really would have mattered. Probably the game probably would have allowed me to catch up, anyways, but still, yeah.
Easy. Easy, as I like to keep saying for some reason. God. Oh, I think he screwed up, because suddenly he was right behind me, and then suddenly he's back there. I think he did something to his car. He must have banged hit or hit something. Anyways, let's not worry about that right now, because what's the important thing is to make sure that we maintain this lead and uh, win the race. Because that GT is definitely in its territory right now, I'll tell you what. <laughs> uh, suddenly I say I tell you what, I've been watching too much King of the Hill because I found a place where I can just watch like all 259 episodes and I'm just looking at it thinking, oh man, this was a great show. 216! I didn't even want bother to slow down. Which it kind of really helped because I didn't lose as much speed as I thought I was going to. Man, did the car just get, like, stopped there? This, this, like, something happened. I don't know, I'm not even really bothering to break, because I'm finding it... After realizing I only did it... I only went down 120, I guess there's not really much reason to, and I think he hit something again. But this time, he's so far back, it's not really gonna be, a, be too much of an issue. So granted, I still don't do anything stupid. That was almost borderline stupid. Come on, Skyline. Don't. Let's keep this lead and win it. Let's keep our winning streak going. Oh boy. Ooh, managed to keep it off the wall. Good. Whew, there we go. We, st we did it. We got the win. Oh, man, that was scary. But we managed to pull... We managed to keep it off, keep him off, and take the win. Nice. All right, so that's that one down. So that just leaves us with one race left to go, which I'm pretty sure I know what it's going to be. Yep, East Tokyo Rain. It's actually in reverse, too, interestingly enough. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. We're not going to send my slicks. Sports radials. I should probably should try, like, off-screen, just try this with normal tires and see if it's I do any better. But sports radials for now. East Tokyo Rain. Let's 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 get the perfect four out of four for this championship. Because we gotta we gotta believe in ourselves. Oh, shit. what the that what happened to that Lancer? Not he just kind of hit it and is now just kind of she kind of just stopped there. Like wow, okay. Oh, oh no. Come on, this is a four-wheel drive car. It should not be spinning out like that. Also, just to show you, I can't restart, so... Okay, we're in a, we're in easier area there now, though, so... Don't even care. Because I knew it was going to bounce me off enough to uh, not really hurt me that bad. Oh, actually, that was okay. After what happened, I kind of really need a, an excuse to get myself up there and catch up to that GT. Okay, that was not what I meant to do, but whatever. That was like, that was like an asshole move. Like, asshole move that I just did there to that GT. Come on. Come on, Skyline. You're, this this should this should be good for you because you're a four-wheel drive car. You could have been a rally car even, but Nissan decided to keep you for the keep you for the track instead. Which honestly, I don't blame them because you were super successful there, and even to this day, you're still doing very well at the current GTR. All right, I think we I think we'll be okay. Ooh. Actually, was looking pretty good, and then I hit the wall there, but oh well. Still managed to get a sub two minute lap. Oh, that was terrible. Went down to like under 30 miles an hour. Yikes. Okay. At the end of the day, we're still in the lead, so. Oh, boy. <sighs> trying to get it all together.
And now there, there comes that itch back on my left eyebrow, which is really annoying. I have to itch it, but I'm almost there to the end of the race. There we go. And the win and a clean sweep. Very, very good. There you go. Just like that. So we're so we're doing ex we're doing excellent to say the least. And there is the last engine tune-up we needed, level five. And we got a whole bunch of sticker samples, like, like three of them. Yeah, I made it, man. But as you can see here, after this, we have a mountain championship with just again just one thing and a secret car. So we're gonna need to get a four-wheel car for that one, cause still grip although yeah <laughs> anyways before I finish it up I'm just gonna let's just see how much uh, power this thing would be making with a uh, stage 5 664 horsepower damn I had that already if I had already had that they were doing that that GT probably could have been not as much of a challenge but yeah, there we go. So that was part five of Auto Mona Lisa. This is a quite, sh this really is a short game now that I'm thinking about it. Because I think all that's really left is like two cars. Or, well, there's probably more cars, but yeah, it's just, this is shorter than I thought so far at least. But anyways, regardless of that, uh, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for part six. And as always, take care.